If you've been offended by the price of groceries lately, like I've been, you should try making turnip green soup. Old fashioned turnip green soup. This is so good. I've made it like three times this week. We're gonna start off to do it right. You want to make your own stock out of a smoked ham hock. I'm using smoked venison shanks from a little yearling that uh, my friend Hank Shaw shot for me. Just add a little water, an onion, a bay leaf, add a couple leek leaves, whatever else you have. You throw a carrot in there. Cook that for like two hours. We're going to soak some black-eyed peas. Black-eyed peas are the traditional bean to add to this. Then after the meat is cooked, we're going to pick the meat off of whatever bone it was attached to. Whatever you got. You can add sausages too, and you'll see I have a version with sausage. And then we're going to wrap that in cling film so it doesn't dry out, because the soup has got to cook for a while. Then we're going to strain all of the cooking liquid. And this is just our broth that we're going to start out with. You could use chicken stock and smoked sausage in a pinch. Also, hot pepper vinegar. This is essential for many southern recipes using greens. We're just going to take some hot chilies, whatever you got. A little trick is that I like to use a scissors so I don't get the cutting board all spicy and then go touch myself or something like that, poke myself in the eye, because that is never fun. Just cut the, cut the stems off, put them in a jar. I like to use white wine vinegar instead of just regular white vinegar because it's a little less aggressive. Give that a good shake and that'll be ready in 24 hours and it'll only get better with time. So good on greens. Now let's talk about turnip greens. Turnip greens have a special place in my heart. Not only are they, along with mustard greens and collard greens, the cheapest green at the grocery store, which is part of the reason I've been living on them all winter, they have a better texture than collard greens, in my opinion. I love all the greens. You guys all know this. But turnip greens are special. They're going to get nice and tender, but also softer than collard greens. Kind of like spinach crossed with collard greens. What we're going to do for the best eating experience, we're going to take the stems out. You don't have to do this, but this is going to give us an even shape of the greens so that we don't have long greens hanging off of a spoon, which can be texturally or visually unpleasing for some people. You know, we want to convert people because this is all about just a soup made of a whole bunch of greens. And I want people to eat plants. Then we're going to cut the stems into slightly smaller pieces because the stems are tougher. That's why we take the stems out. Then we're going to soak the greens. Turnip greens are notorious for being really dirty. Soak the greens and we're not going to pour them into a colander. We're going to remove them directly so we do not disturb the dirt that is on the bottom of the bowl. Now we're going to make the soup. Start off with a little bit of oil. You could use lard, bacon fat. I mean, pick your poison here. We're going to add leek, a little potato, onion, celery, a bunch of garlic cloves all cooked up, and we're going to cook this way down until it's totally tender. Add another little splash of oil. Now we're going to add some tomato paste. Some recipes don't add this, but this, the color that it adds and the little bit of flavor, you could add a can of pureed whole peeled tomatoes too that have been strained. The color and the flavor is just excellent, and it really needs it because there's not a lot of meat in this. And a little color goes a long way, especially with the green soup. We're going to add all of the greens. We're going to add those soaked black-eyed peas. We're going to add our cooking liquid. And now we are going to cook this. Add all your liquid. You should have a nice full pot. Cover it. And you can see the greens are going to start to cook down. We're going to cook this for a full two hours. While that cooks, it's so good. The greens are soft. Like I say, old-fashioned. You are going to think that somebody's grandma made this for you. While the soup is cooking, we can take the meat. We see You can see that the meat is chilled, so it's easier to cut it into even pieces and it doesn't fall apart. Then at the end, or, you know, 30 minutes before it's done, and you could just, you can really cook this. You could cook this for four hours if you want. It's only going to get better. It's so good. The potato kind of breaks down. You can see I have some smoked chicken on Dewey sausage in there too. And then as you eat... You're going to spoon some of that spicy vinegar over the top, and it is just such good comfort food. Oh, man, the greens get so nice and tender, almost slippery, just a little bit softer than collard greens. It's so good. You can use all kinds of different smoked meats to make it or make it vegetarian, but it's probably not going to be as good. You could make this with all kinds of different greens. I mean, mix and match all kinds of things. Just 
pick and choose some greens that you have. They don't have to be the slow cooking collard mustard or turnips. The full recipe is on my website. There's a link at the top of the video description for that. Thanks for watching.